we are reaching now to a new uh, height of uh, tension, and this will clearly uh, have also an impact on the markets. Does it change the way that you invest, though, Tuan? Because I hear you saying it changes the scope for markets, but many investors keep saying it's difficult to price this in. They hope that it just blows over following the election in the U.S. What do you think? Absolutely. I mean, of course, when you look at how markets are moving up, uh, these days, be it in China or be it in the U.S., we are reaching um, a new all-time high after another. Yeah. The Nasdaq has uh, reached for the first time 11,000 uh, levels. So from a market perspective, uh, it looks like markets are currently ignoring this. Uh, when we uh, look through the lines, obviously we are still somehow constructive also on the Chinese side, but uh, obviously as an investor, you need to be uh, quite selective here. And uh, as we could also see now uh, in some of the market reaction on uh, some of those names who were mentioned, um, of course, you have to be uh, definitely yeah. more selective. Yes, well, I'm glad you mentioned the NASDAQ because not only is it through 11,000, that 1,000 point move from 10,000 was done in 40 days. We haven't seen an ascent like that going back to 1999. And we know what happened after 1999. So it makes me wonder, do you want to rotate out of tech if you've been in this sector? We have been quite uh, overweight in, in technology sector for some time now. We call it the quality growth. So it's not only tech, but in some instances also the healthcare sector. Um, reaching that kind of level, uh, we started, of course, um, to be a bit more cautious. So we have been rotating a little bit out of uh, stocks into maybe some of the cyclicals uh, as of late. But uh, of course, again, uh, same story here. Uh, you also have to be selective, but we still think on the longer term uh, technology stocks who are the winner before the crisis supposed to be also the winner uh, in the near future as well, because mm -hmm. things and, and the way how we consume, how we work, are changing also um, once we resolve these COVID uh, issues. Uh, I think this will also stay and hence uh, would benefit tech stocks uh, in the future as well.